Hi, today we will see how to design the ITOP dashboard. We need to configure our dashboard such a way so that we can see all the open or closed tickets at a glance. By default, dashboard contains pre configured dashlets and badges. If you feel we don't need those, we can safely remove them and later we can add them anytime if we want. We will also see how to configure shortcuts, edit preferences, and adding various charts in this video. Let's log into the ITOP with a manager account. Here, normally all our open tickets will arrive at the help desk section. We don't see any ticket at the default view, but we want to add them here. One problem with the default ticket listing is if we see. It is showing all the open tickets created by all customer for any services. Here every manager don't need to see all the open tickets. They need only those tickets for which they are responsible for. So we need to configure the dashboard so that only relevant tickets arrives at the first page. And by creating shortcuts we can see tickets based on filter criteria. We can create multiple shortcut based on multiple filter based on various search criteria. So let's do this. Here we can see there are all the tickets here. So for user name, he don't need to see all these tickets. So let's filter out. Add new criteria based on the service. Let's apply. And before that, I want to show you our organization diagram here. The user name is the manager and he is responsible for the desktop support team. So he's going to see all the desktop and laptop uh, related support issues. So during selecting the service, we will see desktop, we will select desktop support, laptop support like printer support let's select this these all are laptop and desktop related and printer related uh, tickets here we can see that we have on the tickets user request title organization caller start date status and agent we can add some column here so let's configure this list use default settings use following settings we can add here service name and we want to save this default for all lists. Here you can see now all the tickets with the service name mentioned here. Now let's create the shortcut for this. Create a shortcut name. desktop laptop support automatic refresh automatic refresh interval we can set it for one minute okay so this is one way still we have to click the shortcut we are not getting the relevant ticket list at the first page so let's go to the all open request again let's create the filter again so we want to see only the relevant services desktop laptop okay now our view is filtered now we can add to dashboard we want to see them under welcome dashlet type object list we can add menu here edit the dashboard we don't need to edit the dashboard now okay so now 
we can see that our filtered tickets are here at the first view so now let's edit this first view we don't need these badges actually so let's remove those I need a clear view of my dashboard. I don't need these statistics here. Let's save it. At the top, we have our open tickets here. After manager logs in, you will see instantly all the open tickets. So at the welcome section, we can create multiple shortcut based on various type of filter. And at the first view, we have all the relevant tickets. Now, if we can see open and close ticket on a comparison basis on a chart, that will be very helpful to identify the ticket completion rate. And we can also create chart to see ticket creation per day for a whole month. So let's uh, add these two charts here. Let's give a name and close ticket. And we have to define here the query, the OQL query. We have to query the user request table here. I have previously written this. Desktop support. And laptop support. What these statements means actually? Select user request. This is the uh, user request table where service name in desktop support and laptop support. So we are selecting all the uh, task, all the ticket which has the service name in desktop support and laptop support so you are grouped by status style is the pie chart aggregation function count that is okay status and direction is the descending so let's apply yes now it's okay now we can see that all our open ticket versus the closed ticket. If you click the open ticket, it will show the all open ticket. And if you click on the close portion, it will show all the closed ticket. So we can see now all open and close very easily. So let's add another bar chart, which will show us the ticket creation every month. So let's edit this. Let's add the bar chart. Let's give a name ticket creation per month. And let's select the OQL here. My dates up new interval T. Okay. That's good group by start date day of the month aggregation function count direction is ascending will be nice so july 14 then july 23rd in this way okay so we are good to go here so now we can see our dashboard is fully functional and very nice to see so we have successfully reconfigured our dashboard we have listed our relevant tickets we have created a pie chart for the open and close tickets and 
we have added another bar chart for the tickets creation per month and we have added the shortcut here we can add multiple shortcut based on multiple criteria so in the preference let's see we can manage shortcut from here here is the shortcut you can remove it here or rename nothing more to do on the preference okay so let's get back so we are done in this video in our next video we will demonstrate the full operation ticket creation and ticket submission ticket assignment reassignment and ticket resolving closing everything we will show on the next video